YouTube, what is up with y'all tonight? This is Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil, coming through with a talk video. This shoe has been reviewed like a million times already. And basically because it was sitting, and obviously that shoe is the Yeezy 500. This is my first ever Yeezy, so um, I just decided to cop, man, because I never had one. So, uh... I've been walking in them already, and the comfort level is definitely up there with these, man. Um, like, not that much better than Ultra Boost, but definitely damn near next to it. Whatever this Ortholite is, uh, Addy Preen, like, this stuff is pretty decent, man. So, yeah, I could basically walk around in this full blown comfort, no problem. Now, with this kick right here, this kick is basically the epitome of, uh, or one, this, this is one of the kicks that's basically the epitome of, like, the sneaker game reselling right now. I've seen other YouTuber videos, and they basically, most of them, well, some of them took the words out of my mouth, and it's just to, uh, confirm with me, you know, I got the kick as well. I've seen a person or two in the comments, my last few videos or whatever say so they have these joints you know and man that's crazy like now like they literally had to restock so many times just to like so you can actually like get a pair um but i'm happy though and um i'm happy i got my pair so but anyway the suede one here is definitely nice definitely a nice new book the mesh is okay but uh this looks like one of those rough suede's and it's still soft to the touch. One of the things that I actually do like, some people actually dislike this kick for that. They thought it was actually going to be a full blown real triple black, but I do like the fact that it's, that it's not and it's more like a charcoal like color. So you can still wear all black outfit, but then this will kind of like, you know, flow with it and give it like more of a dark gray charcoal gray light -like color way. So just in case y'all haven't seen these already. Um, cause I don't even think these is even like in stores. I don't know. It depends on who y'all got or, you know, maybe a mom and pop might have these, but I, I haven't seen them in a regular like store or whatever, at least like Foot Locker or something like that, like a retail chain. But yeah, man, that Adidas 500 is actually this one. Some people saying, oh, you know, it's cause of the color and all that stuff, man. And, uh, they just hate the model and all that. But it's like they they happen to like the ones that resell. And I don't know, man. I mean, really, I don't too much care about what everybody else think. You know what I mean? Some people just act like you're not supposed to get like no Yeezys. Now, I'm not crazy about all of them, but there's a few colorways that I do like. But one of the ones that I do like uh, that's like at the top of my list as of now is the is the Wave Runner or whatever. So yeah, that one pretty cool. Um, but these, I actually, um, I actually waited almost a whole day just to even cop, like on contemplating, like did I even really want this or not? And uh, I just decided to pick up on it, man, just to see what it feels like, you know, to see if I like it. And actually, I do like it. The bottom actually reminds me of the Crazy Eight. Um, but yeah, so that this sneaker is actually the epitome, and it looked like a spaceship too. But anyway, this sneaker is. This this is one of many sneakers that's actually the epitome of the sneaker game. So like of the reselling part, and I do believe if they keep doing it like this, the resale for Yeezys will be dead. But a lot of people that's really like dissing and player hating all on like this kick is basically people that that's like shitty resellers and people that you know little hype beasts that can't dress or anything like that. Like I don't. Like, how is a, a all-black shoe, or a almost all-black shoe, hard to, like, uh, match up with something or a fit or something like that? You know what I mean? Just dumbass reasons for dumbass people to come up with. So, yeah, man. It's just funny to me because, you know, I actually read some of these YouTube comments at the bottom of some of these uh, uh, other people YouTube videos, man, especially, like, when it came to these Yeezys, man. The fuckery was really there. But it was also a nice strong coat following people that was just like hey i bought the shoe and because i liked it same here for me man i just bought the shoe because i liked it i didn't 
cop and double up or whatever. You know, my thing is, if I was reselling these or whatever, I just keep my fucking mouth closed, man. Like it's just dumb for anybody to even just come out. Hey, maybe the price might rise with like in in due time or whatever. But man, uh, a lot of the people that was hating was people that was just it's 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 okay if you just actually genuinely just didn't like the shoe. But come on, some of these guys they were just like, man, come on now. I'm quite sure I could if I if I trace them comments. When like the uh, the blushes released or the the yellow joints that dropped of the five hundreds, they probably there just like, you know, oh yeah, cop these and this and that and you know and all that shit. Like it's the hottest shoe ever just because it was limited. But that's the climate of the sneaker game right now, man. And if you haven't peeped my uh, other video, check that as well. That I made a few days ago. That was the one regarding the it has Adidas fell off. Um, that you that Adidas young one is actually pretty decent. I actually like that joint. That's pretty clean, and uh, I can't wait to get a pair. So yeah, I don't know which color I was gonna get. I don't know if I was gonna get the orange joints or the red, white, and blue. I don't know, but uh, we'll see. But yeah, what do y'all think in the comments, man? Do you think it's just a bunch of you know little boys that just can't dress? And, you know, they just want to wear nothing but name brand hype beast stuff. And it's just one of many items that like fell off to them or whatever. Um, and now that regular people got it. I mean, just because regular people got this, I, I still don't think people will rock this shoe all like this. You know what I mean? Like all that crazy. Like, I, I don't think people will really wear it all like this. Probably very few. Then you had another little swagless little boy on, little dude on, uh, with glass it's on YouTube, man. He called these uh, uh, lunch aid shoes or custodian shoes, like, you know, they supposed to be ugly or whatever, but, you know, but if they in beige or whatever that lighter color is, they like them all of a sudden. Uh, with this, it, it does, even though it's called utility black, it does somewhat look like a utility shoe, but it look like you know, it, it look a little bit more turned up than a typical security guard utility shoe. You know what I mean? Or custodian shoe. So, definitely clean. And this is one of them shoes also, too. Like, if it, if the color blocking, if the right colors are on this, I know Yeezy just kind of, like, make it more like a, a whole solid color instead of it being, like, you know, just black here and then white here or something like that. You know, I know he make it more of those like the, the whole shoe like one solid color, but if it was actually broke down in a different like colors, I think um, you know, they might move off shelves or whatever more than what they actually are. And you might get more people interested in different colors versus it just being like one whole chromatic solid color. But ain't nothing wrong with that. It depends on the way you rock your fits or whatever. And uh yeah, really that's been the move lately, it's just um those chromatic colors that let you know, a, a whole shoe just being like one solid color, at least for these easy joints that's just been dropping lately. So, yeah, chime in in the comments below, man, just to round this off, man. Uh, my thoughts. I love them. I like them, man. The comfort is softer than what I thought. And uh, the price, I'm happy I paid retail versus paying. I know right now the resale is probably still around retail, but... Got mine off Adidas and everything. They took long to ship, but I got my size 10, and this does fit fit snug. Like it actually, like it actually gets snug in the toe box at the top, so it actually fits like a nine and a half for me. So I'm happy I didn't get that nine and a half. And uh, yeah, man, definitely a nice, different looking shoe, alien looking like. Definitely something that'll go down in the sneaker history books, especially by a rapper too. Um, so yeah, man, what do y'all think, man? Do y'all like the shoe because of, st of the style? Like, did y'all cop because of the style? Or, you know, do you, do? and what do you think about the other people? I don't know if y'all seen them already, you know, different other YouTuber videos, if y'all looked in the comments or whatever. Some people was hating or whatever. You know, I think it's guys that, that can't dress, little uh, Saudi resellers. You know, I'm happy they doing this. I hope they just like, <laughs> They just do like a mass restock of like most of the limited shoes. Because that's, that's crazy like how you can't even get a chance to even get a kick. So I guess Yeezy uh, or Kanye uh, statement finally came true. Took years though. 
think it was 2015, 2016, he said everybody would be able to have Yeezy. So I guess it's that time. Rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Neil Goodfella. Goodfella Neil. Peace.